Hey everyone, so it's clearly winter in the Northern Hemisphere, from California all the way to the Midwest, the East Coast, Scotland, all the way over to Japan. It's cold, it's winter, and it's snowing. So if you continue to ride your bike through the snow, you probably have seen something like this, a caked bottom of your shoe with snow, specifically caked snow on the bottom of your cleat. In this video, I'm going to show a few tactics that I use to help alleviate this all together. Let's do it. So I know a lot of people out there that basically swap over from clipless system in the winter to flats because they don't want to deal with this. And for good reason, this is super frustrating. Oftentimes in the beginning of the season, I have this happen to me where I have to really hammer down my shoe on the pedal itself to help get the snow out of not only the cleat area, but the cleat plate so that the cleat can properly sit within the pedal. So typically in the winter, I'm not really riding a shoe like this any longer. I'm probably riding a boot that is built for winter cycling. So say, the 45 North Wolf Hammer, or just a winter specific shoe that does a better job of keeping heat in. Obviously with a really cold cleat on the bottom of your shoe, you're going to lose a lot of heat quickly. And so with a boot like this, that helps alleviate that. And while this probably is overkill for a lot of environments out there, when you are riding your bike all day long, in sub freezing temperatures, this is a really great option. But that's for a different conversation. Today, I wanted to share a few techniques that I use to help treat my cleats so that this doesn't happen. So oil and grease, they don't mesh really well with water. They don't, they don't mix. And so that's a really great tool to use on your cleats. So the first technique is basically just using a spray oil uh, the first one I ever used was Pam because Pam was the most popular spray oil out there. Now we have the organic version of that. But essentially this is great because you can actually spray it in all of the nooks and corners. And you can also get it on this plate, which is super important because you want not only the plate, the cleat plate to be clear of snow, but also the cleat itself. So this spray oil isn't as good as some other options out there because it doesn't really harden as well as say a butter or some bacon grease. So that leads me to my next favorite option, butter. So the first thing I wanna do when I apply this is put it in the microwave, make sure it's melted before I actually apply it because that's going to spread over the cleat and the cleat plate that much better. So I'll put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then dab it with a little bit of a paper towel or just a regular towel and just basically apply it to that whole area, making sure again that I get all of that butter underneath the side of the cleat and that cleat plate. My favorite option and probably the one I recommend the most is bacon, bacon grease. Bacon grease to me is the best because well, it dries really thick. It dries in a room temperature as well. So it works extremely well at cold temperatures. Not only that, but you get to eat bacon along the way. It's a fun little afternoon activity. So before the bacon grease solidifies, I just dab it with a towel and just basically rub it all around the cleat plate and the cleat itself and let it just do its work. It dries up really quickly. I'll probably do another layer after that. So two, two layers, especially with the bacon, grease and the butter works extremely well. Typically this will last me uh, about a month, maybe three weeks, and then I'll have to reapply. It really depends on how often I'm biking. But for the most part, two layers of bacon grease will probably last you longer than any other method out there. So thank you all so much for supporting my love of bacon. I hope that you took something away from this video. And if you have any other specific techniques that you use to help prevent ice or snow buildup on your cleat, Leave it in the comment section below. I'm sure we'd all be interested in hearing those. So thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, pedal further.